crossovers are an essential running skill for javelin. <laughs> Welcome back to a new tutorial here on my channel on how to throw the javelin. Today we are going to talk about crossovers. Crossovers are essential. They are a running skill, I would say. It's a, it's a skill set, but at the end we have one typical crossover. And once you've seen a lead thrower throw the javelin, they always use crossovers. So it makes sense to learn the crossovers before you actually learn a three-step throw five-step throw. No, we're starting with a running skill called crossovers. Let's jump right into the matter. Crossovers are that important because they bring us into throwing position. That's the important thing. We could just normally run and jump into throwing position, but that would be really hard. But the crossovers, they help us to really prepare the throwing position to get a nice throw at the end, to get a nice block. To learn the crossovers, we're using the separation method. So we break down the exercises into small pieces and then put it all together in the actual throwing motion, in the actual run-up. So first of all, a lot of running will happen without really using our arms or upper body. It's footwork and it's a little bit of control of different angles. That's all it's about for the crossovers. We need the crossovers to be super fluent. Superfluent crossovers help us to get into an even nicer throwing position and they help us to not struggle in the run-up. I know many throwers out there struggle a lot in the run-up. Clean crossovers always help us to produce the same run-up results, resulting into nice throwing positions all the time whenever we're out there. Right, let's start right away with the first exercises that help us how to learn crossovers. Our first exercise that we're going to do are side steps. Side steps using the javelin just for some positioning so we are staying in the line. Make sure to really turn in your acceleration foot, the support leg for my side, the right-handed thrower, it's the right side. We want to turn it about 45 degrees into throwing direction. We will have an active left side for all left-sided throwers, everything vice it wears, and we will really grab the ground on the left side to pull ourselves forwards. That's an important part of running in the javelin. Next one up is a one that helps you to really learn how actually a crossover will work. So we're always going from left, crossing over in the front on the right foot. Left one comes from the back and the right one goes again. So we are only walking in cross steps and we will slowly speed it up over the time you progress but the first weeks you will start walking again the javelin is in our back so we are separating again no work for your upper just have it nice and straight on your upper head control eyes on the target and we will just walk our cross steps just make sure your hip always points into throwing direction next up is the jumpy tiny crossovers jumpy tiny crossovers is speeding up the slow ones, the walking ones that we just did, but they're extremely short steps just to learn rhythm control and then we will open these steps up coming out of the exercise into rolling out again after 15 to 20 meters. When we jumped ourselves through the rhythm we will then open the steps a bit. As the crossovers are used to accelerate us to throw further we need to learn a good acceleration pattern. There is different techniques. Some people learn it from the right side, so the right foot works even more. Some will learn balance, so right and left side do the same. And some learn more from the left. I was one that learned from the right and over time changed it up to being more active on the left. And this is where the next exercise comes from. We are using an extremely, a little bit overdone left side activation. This helps us to really stay under control, to really have our center of gravity always under control. You can beautifully see in the video how the left leg is really pushing and grabbing the ground in this exercise. And the final exercise for learning the crossovers are the crossovers themselves. So now it's time to just execute crossovers. We start, we accelerate a little bit and then really come into beautiful, nice rhythm crossovers. The motion should be beautiful, fluent, nothing crazy. We can do some overspeed training over time. This is something 
of all the experts, of the viewers of the video. But first of all, we all just really focus on rhythm. Make it beautiful, make it look nice, make it look effortless. Then you get some nice crossovers into your training program. Remember, all these exercises can be executed with the javelin in the back or with the javelin long. And you can also try these exercises with the javelin up in the air that all helps you with the positioning and it kind of adds up to the challenge really coming into competition throwing. With all these exercises in the books now you have a great tool set to learn great crossovers. In the next episodes we will put them into context, we will throw from a three step, from a five step and then we will really find your first real competition run up. For all these you need the crossovers so I encourage you to really invest time doing the drills, doing the exercises, learning good crossovers, because that will help you throw further. That was the video on crossovers. Now it's time for you to subscribe to don't miss a single tutorial that's coming up next. And please put all your questions into the comments. I will give my best to answer some very soon. Have a great time training. I'm Thomas. See you soon.